right? I was obsessed with getting this job. Somehow, after all these years, my staff hunted down my original audition tape. I don't know how. Somebody asked me a really important question. Evan, how do I become a TV host? Here's my answer. Ladies and gentlemen. My answer this week is pretty simple. There's a lot of unconventional ways that people are becoming TV hosts. I told you about creating your own and all of that, but my process was this. I looked for work and I auditioned. People don't normally find you out of the blue. You gotta make yourself known. It's not a normal occurrence for somebody to just stumble upon your email address not knowing what you do and offer you a hosting gig. Now, if you're a true follower of Tuesday TV Tips, you already know where to look for auditions. So once you find that somebody's casting for something that fits you, go for it. After you find that a casting, you go ahead and you apply for it. Then if they like you, more than likely they'll send you an email for you to send in an audition or come in person. For MTV's Grossbusters, I would have had to go all the way from America and travel all the way to the UK. So instead I was able to send an email with my video submission. I'm sure you'd like to see my audition, but I'm gonna wait a few years before I release that. <laughs> But let me tell you this, I found an iconic, see iconic is just even too small of a word for this woman. I found a legendary, is legendary bigger than iconic? I don't know. But I found Oprah's video submission. Some of you probably already saw it on the OWN network, but I looked at this and I was like, yo, it really doesn't, you know, it doesn't take a whole lot. She just put herself in it and enough of me talking, here it is. There's always been patterns in my life whenever I feel like I've grown uh, enough in one place, I move on. So I felt that I'd grown enough in Nashville and couldn't grow anymore, so I moved on to Baltimore. Thank you. <laughs> I became the co-host of a local morning show called People Are Talking with Richard Chair. And then one day I heard that there was a morning show in Chicago that needed a new host. So I stayed up all night long with an editor, sent my audition tape in, because I was one of those people that wasn't prepared. I didn't have, I wasn't keeping all my stories. So I had to work all night. I was obsessed with getting this job. Somehow, after all these years, my staff hunted down my original audition tape. I don't know how <laughs> on earth I got hired. But take a look. Hi there, my name is Oprah Winfrey. Oprah, spelled O-P-R-A-H, and if you noticed, it's Harpo spelled backwards. My folks did not particularly like Harpo marks. We did not even have a television set in our home for a number of years. Originally, I was named from the Bible by Aunt Ida, who named me from Ruth, the first chapter and the 14th verse, Orpa, but no one knew how to spell in my home, and that's why it ended up being Oprah. So boom, that's what you need to do. Look for work, audition, audition, audition. Nobody's gonna find you out of the woodworks. I know some guys that audition 20 times a week and constantly get more. You don't get to that point where you don't have to audition until you really prove yourself. I still have to audition for parts. <laughs> I still do. All right, like I always say, I'm not a betting man, but if I had to bet on anyone, you better believe it would be you. any television questions for me, feel free to post it in the comments below. I will gladly give you an answer. If I don't know, I'm not going to front on you, but I'll find somebody that does know the answer. If you like it, go ahead, click like, tell me you like it. Go ahead and share this information if you think it'll be useful to somebody that needs it. And that's it for now. Thank you for watching Tuesday TV Tips. See you next time.